Welcome back to Batman Superman right here at Comic Story and your home for audio dramas of your favorite comic books. When we last left off, the Batman who laughs was infecting individuals in the main DC universe. He had managed to infect Shazam with the Joker toxin, and we now discovered that he infected Blue Beetle with the Joker toxin. But who was next on his list? Batman and Superman went to the Fortress of Solitude to try and find out, but that's when the infected Blue Beetle arrived. And now, let's continue with Batman Superman number four. As the Scarab digs itself deeper into the Fortress of Solitude, Blue Beetle laughs, telling them, This fortress is totally awesome! I love that it's mine now, Superman! Batman and Superman pull themselves out of the tangled wires, and Batman yells that Jamie's tech was never this strong before. Superman tells him that the infection seems to be amplifying his power, and... But before he could finish, a whip is wrapped around his neck, and a voice tells him, Don't worry, help is here! As Superman struggles with the whip, he looks back to see an infected Donna Troy, tightening her grip and an infected Hawkman, subduing Batman, asking, Are you surprised to see me? Donna pulls Superman close, telling him that after everything the two of them have done, they deserve this for Wally, for Dick, for Roy. She beats into Superman, knocking him into a wall, shattering it, screaming, This is the revenge of the Titans! Superman rockets back, blasting his heat vision into Donna, telling her not to listen to the Batman who laughs. But she blocks it, yelling, He didn't tell me anything I didn't already know! Superman is just a symbol to inspire children to wear capes and run headfirst into danger. Those children are either dead or dying because of you! Hawkman punches straight down into Batman, telling Donna that they refuse to see the truth. Superman's powers are vast, yet he holds back. They both do. Gordon straightens up his jacket, asking Batman, What's the matter? Can't disappear in the middle of a conversation anymore? Making me look like a damn fool. Never again! The Batman who laughs has a plan for this world. And once his six chosen heroes are infected, the real fireworks can begin. Superman shouts, He will destroy the world just like he did his. And Gordon tells him, It's called a purge, blue boy. The problem is, he needs something for the Dark Multiverse to do it. And that something is a satellite. It was once the home of the Justice League in his world. And with a little remodeling and bloody sacrifices, he was able to treat it with dark metal to turn it into a cosmic bat signal. One that, if shined on the world, would infect everyone. But bringing something over of that size takes a little effort to get the exact frequency to do so. We needed six heroes that represented different energies to open up the portal. You used the Kryptonian's Phantom Zone projector and one of the Anti-Monitor's multiversal towers to send Superman into the dark multiverse to save Batman, right? Well, the Scarab will use his technology to build a new one, powered by the dark multiverse. And Superman is the last piece that we needed. Once infected, the whole world will finally be able to understand what it means to know the truth. Scarab! Activate the fortress of security alarms! Superman calls out for Gordon to stop, but Donna lashes out of Superman with her lasso, asking, It's a frequency that only Kryptonians can hear, right? Who's coming to your rescue? Supergirl? Superboy? The damned dog? Gordon holds the infected battering meant for Superman, asking, Are you ready to join the winning side? Or do we have to kill whoever shows up? Are you willing to take that risk? As Hawkman swings his mace, Batman leaps over it, telling him, I have just the thing for this. And he pushes a button. A beeping can be heard coming from Gordon's old bat suit. And before anyone has a chance to react, it sets off a massive explosion, knocking everyone away. The infected start to cough as they back up, and Hawkman says, It's just a smoke screen, non-lethal. If we keep going easy on them. But Gordon shouts, Just shut up! And Batman pulled his disappearing act on me again. Find him! Down below in the animal pen, Batman tries to reach out, but says that the Blue Beetle has control of the fortress and he isn't getting a signal in or out. Once Blue Beetle has complete control, it's over. And if that happens, they need to get Superman away from here as far as possible. Superman calms the animal, stating the words that Donna and Carter spoke. It's closer to a reflection of the thing that they really felt deep down. Superman then leads Batman into another room and says that Blue Beetle may have infected the mind of the fortress. But this... This is its heart. The fortress's reactor is a volatile, so an emergency system was put into place that if that reactor was ever in danger of detonating, 
everything would be locked and the fortress would sink to the bottom of the ocean. Nothing can go in or out. Batman then looks at the shining reactor telling him, we'd be trapped inside. And if it quarantines us and the infected, it'll be worth it. Superman then says that if they can get past Blue Beetle and regain control of the fortress, they can activate it. However, they need to do it without Blue Beetle or Gordon knowing what they're up to. As Superman flies up, Batman tells him, I'll keep Troy and Hawkman busy and away from the reactor until the failsafe is activated. Before leaving, Superman says that Donna's power could rival even Diana's. Has he ever sparred with Wonder Woman? Batman smirks, telling him, I did a few times. Had bruises for months, and she was holding back. Back up on level one, Donna and Hawkman search for Batman and Superman, but while arguing about who is the better hunter, Batman rides a serpent into the mix, asking, Do you mind if I join? The serpent whips its tail, smacking Donna away, and then Hawkman flies up, swinging his mace, shouting, Batman! Batman quickly deflects the attack, and Hawkman says that ever since the Batman who laughs showed him the truth of their lives, the memories that he has on Earth 3, he was dead. There was only Owl Man. Batman jumps up and grabs Hawkman's mace and pulls it back on his neck, telling him, I met Owl Man. Kicked his. Anyway, it's gonna take all your lives to stop me now. Hawkman reaches back, throwing Batman off, yelling, The Batman who laughs is the only Batman any world needs. Just as Hawkman goes to land the finishing blow, there's a loud THOOM as Supergirl punches Hawkman. She grabs Batman before he could fall, telling him, I really hate to see my friends fight. Any reason that Hawkman is trying to kill you? Batman yells, We have to hurry and get Superman out of here before it's too late. Meanwhile, up at the top floor, Blue Beetle continues constructing the device to bring the Batman who laughs signal to their world when something in his head screams. He hunches over, yelling that the armor is fighting the infection of the Joker toxin. No, 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 please, please, I don't want this. I just want to go home. And Gordon asks him, why would you want to go back to your family? Or the Justice League, none of them wanted to help you. They only saw you as a weapon. Just then, a blast of heat vision knocks Gordon away, and Superman says, don't listen to him. You are not a weapon. It is so tempting to turn your anger and use those powers. But the two of us, we're better than that. Let me help. I can see you're fighting the infection. Together, we can find a cure. But we're going to need access to... But before Superman could finish, Donna swings in, kicking Superman in the head, telling Blue Beetle, Superman is lying! Donna then wraps the lasso around Superman's neck to hold him in place, and Gordon hands Blue Beetle the infected battering, telling him, you can make Superman see the truth. So Blue Beetle takes it, throwing it as hard as he can, shouting, This is for trying to trick me, Superman! The battering flies through the air, and just before it's about to hit, Supergirl catches it, telling him, Yeah, no. She flings her arm back, punching Donna away, and then asks, Is anyone going to explain to me why our friends are now suddenly having a metal fetish? The three get ready to strike, but then Supergirl hesitates, telling them, Something... something's wrong. What is... She begins to cough up blood, and Superman runs over, calling out to her. Batman stops him, telling him, The Batarang. We need to get her away before. But that's when there's a loud thundering explosion as the word SHAZAM can be heard. The smoke clears, and Superman gets up, calling out to Superman. But Superman simply asks, Where's Kara? The two stop in their tracks as a twisted voice says, Right here, cuz. I know my new look isn't exactly the most Smallville style, but you know what they say. If you don't love me at your worst, then you don't love me at my best! The infected Supergirl floats down as Shazam asks, Are you two homies ready for round two yet? Gordon puts back on his mask, telling them all, Not exactly what the Batman Who Laughs planned. More rumbling can be heard as the portals of the dark multiverse opens up, and Blue Beetle yells that they are done for now. The Secret Six is assembled, and they are bringing the whole damn dark multiverse with them. The Batman Who Laughs smiles in his cell, telling Superman, that he knows that he can hear him. And it works both ways, you know. Are you finally ready to admit that you've lost? That my way is better? The truth is, you're all twisted on the inside and you need to just let go. These six are merely just the start of the infection. Now we show the truth to everyone. And that concludes the Batman Superman storyline on issue four. If you want to know what's going to happen next, run to your local comic book store, pick up this issue, and see what is happening. Or you can subscribe to the channel as we try to bring it to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and follow us on Twitter at Comic Storian. And I'll see you guys next time right here at the Comic Storian channel.